Welcome to the Bible in One Year with Melissa Sykes. Today is March the 2nd, and we begin in Numbers chapter 11, verse 1 through 15. The people complain to Moses. Now when the people complained, it displeased the Lord, for the Lord heard it, and his anger was aroused. So the fire of the Lord burned among them and consumed them in the outskirts of the camp. Then the people cried out to Moses, and when Moses prayed to the Lord, the fire was quenched. So he called the name of the place Taberah, because the fire of the Lord had burned among them. Now the mixed multitude who were among them yielded to intense craving. So the children of Israel also wept again and said, Who will give us meat to eat? We remember the fish which we ate freely in Egypt, the cucumbers, the melons, the leeks, the onions, and the garlic. But now our whole being is dried up. There is nothing at all except this manna before our eyes. Now the manna was like coriander seed, and its color like the color of bdellium. The people went about and gathered it, ground it on millstones, or beat it in the mortar, cooked it in pans, and made cakes of it. And its taste was like the taste of pastry prepared with oil. And when the dew fell on the camp in the night, the manna fell on it. Then Moses heard the people weeping throughout their families, every one at the door of his tent, and the anger of the Lord was greatly aroused. Moses also was displeased. So Moses said to the Lord, Why have you afflicted your servant? And why have I not found favor in your sight, that you have laid the burden of all these people on me? Did I conceive all these people? Did I beget them, that you should say to me, Carry them in your bosom as a guardian carries a nursing child to the land which you swore to their fathers. Where am I to get meat to give to all these people? For they weep all over me, saying, Give us meat that we may eat. I am not able to bear all these people alone, because the burden is too heavy for me. If you treat me like this, please kill me here and now, if I have found favor in your sight, and do not let me see my wretchedness. Moses chooses seventy leaders. Numbers chapter 11, verses 16 through 30. So the Lord said to Moses, Gather to me seventy men of the elders of Israel, whom you know to be the elders of the people, and officers over them. Bring them to the tabernacle of meeting, that they may stand there with you. Then I will come down and talk with you there. I will take of the spirit that is upon you, and will put the same upon them. And they shall bear the burden of the people with you, that you may not bear it yourself alone. Then you shall say to the people, Consecrate yourselves for tomorrow, and you shall eat meat. For you have wept in the hearing of the Lord, saying, Who will give us meat to eat? For it was well with us in Egypt. Therefore the Lord will give you meat, and you shall eat. You shall eat not one day, nor two days, nor five days, nor ten days, nor twenty days, but for a whole month until it comes out of your nostrils and becomes loathsome to you, because you have despised the Lord who is among you, and have wept before him, saying, Why did we ever come up out of Egypt? And Moses said, The people whom I am among are six hundred thousand men on foot. Yet you have said, I will give them meat, that they may eat for a whole month. Shall flocks and herds be slaughtered for them, to provide enough for them? Or shall all the fish of the sea be gathered together for them, to provide enough for them? And the Lord said to Moses, Has the Lord's arm been shortened? Now you shall see whether what I say will happen to you or not. So Moses went out and told the people the words of the Lord, and he gathered the seventy men of the elders of the people and placed them around the tabernacle. Then the Lord came down in the cloud and spoke to him and took of the spirit that was upon him and placed the same upon the seventy elders. And it happened when the spirit rested upon them that they prophesied, although they never did so again. But two men have remained in the camp. The name of the one was Eldad and the name of the other Medad. And the spirit rest upon them. Now they were among those listed, but who had not gone out to the tabernacle, yet they prophesied in the camp. And a young man ran and told Moses and said, Eldad and Medad are prophesying in the camp. So Joshua, Joshua the son of Nun, Moses' assistant, one of his choice men, answered and said, Moses, my Lord, forbid them. Then Moses said to him, Are you zealous for my sake? Oh, that all the Lord's people were prophets, and that the Lord would put his spirit upon them. And Moses returned to the camp, he and the elders of Israel. The Lord sends quail. Numbers chapter 11, verses 31 through 35. Now a wind went out from the Lord, and it brought quail from the sea and left them fluttering near the camp, about a day's journey on this side and about a day's journey on the other side, all around the camp and about two cubits above the surface of the ground. And the people stayed up all that day, all night, and all the next day, and gathered the quail. 
He who gathered least gathered ten homers, and they spread them out for themselves all around the camp. But while the meat was still between their teeth, before it was chewed, the wrath of the Lord was aroused against the people, and the Lord struck the people with a very great plague. So he called the name of that place Kibroth Hatava, because there they buried the people who had yielded to craving. From Kibroth Hatava, the people moved to Hazaroth and camped at Hazaroth. The Complaints of Miriam and Aaron, Numbers chapter 12, verse 1 through 16. Then Miriam and Aaron spoke against Moses because of the Ethiopian woman whom he had married, for he had married an Ethiopian woman. So they said, Has the Lord indeed spoken only through Moses? Has he not spoken through us also? And the Lord heard it. Now the man Moses was very humble, more than all men who were on the face of the earth. Suddenly the Lord said to Moses, Aaron, and Miriam, Come out, you three, to the tabernacle of meeting. So the three came out. Then the Lord came down in the pillar of cloud and stood in the door of the tabernacle and called Aaron and Miriam. And they both went forward. Then he said, Hear now my words. If there is a prophet among you, I, the Lord, make myself known to him in a vision. I speak to him in a dream. Not so with my servant Moses. He is faithful in all my house. I speak with him face to face, even plainly and not in dark sayings, and he sees the form of the Lord. Why then were you not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? So the anger of the Lord was aroused against them, and he departed. And when the cloud departed from above the tabernacle, suddenly Miriam became leprous, as white as snow. Then Aaron turned toward Miriam, and there she was, a leper. So Aaron said to Moses, O my Lord, please do not lay this sin on us, in which we have done foolishly, and in which we have sinned. Please do not let her be as one dead, whose flesh is half consumed, when he comes out of his mother's womb. So Moses cried out to the Lord, saying, Please heal her, O God, I pray. Then the Lord said to Moses, If her father had but spit in her face, would she not be shamed seven days? Let her be shut out of the camp seven days, and afterwards she may be received again. So Miriam was shut out of the camp seven days, and the people did not journey till Miriam was brought in again. And afterward, the people moved from Hazaroth and camped in the wilderness of Paran. Twelve spies explore Canaan. Numbers chapter 13, verse 1 through 24. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Send men to spot the land of Canaan, which I am giving to the children of Israel. From each tribe of their fathers you shall send a man, every one a leader among them. So Moses sent them from the wilderness of Paran, according to the command of the Lord, all of them men who were heads of the children of Israel. Now these were their names, from the tribe of Reuben, Shemua, the son of Zachar, from the tribe of Simeon, Shaphat, the son of Hori, from the tribe of Judah, Caleb, the son of Japuna, from the tribe of Issachar, Igal, the son of Joseph, from the tribe of Ephraim, Hoshea, the son of Nun, from the tribe of Benjamin, Palti, the son of Raphu. From the tribe of Zebulun, Gadiel, the son of Sodi. From the tribe of Joseph, that is, from the tribe of Manasseh, Gadi, the son of Susi. From the tribe of Dan, Amiel, the son of Gamali. From the tribe of Asher, Sether, the son of Michael. From the tribe of Naphtali, Nabi, the son of Bapshi. From the tribe of Gad, Guel, the son of Maki. These are the names of the men whom Moses sent to spy out the land. And Moses called Hoshea, the son of Nun, Joshua. Then Moses sent them to spy out the land of Canaan and said to them, Go up this way into the south and go up to the mountains and see what the land is like, whether the people who dwell in it are strong or weak, few or many, whether the land they dwell in is good or bad, whether the cities they inhabit are like camps or strongholds, whether the land is rich or poor, and whether there are forests there or not. Be of good courage, and bring some of the fruit of the land. Now the time was the season of the first ripe grapes. So they went up and spied out the land from the wilderness of Zin, as far as Rehob, near the entrance of Hamath. And they went up through the south and came to Hebron, Ahiman, Shishai, and Talmai. The descendants of Anak were there. Now Hebron was built seven years before Zoan in Egypt. Then they came to the valley of Eskel, and there cut down a branch with one cluster of grapes. They carried it between two of them on a pole. They also brought some of the pomegranates and figs. The place was called the Valley of Eskel because of the cluster which the men of Israel cut down there. 
The Spies Report, Numbers chapter 13, verses 25 through 33. And they returned from spying out the land after forty days. Now they departed and came back to Moses and Aaron and all the congregation of the children of Israel in the wilderness of Paran at Kadesh. They brought back word to them and to all the congregation and showed them the fruit of the land. Then they told him and said, We went to the land where you sent us. It truly flows with milk and honey, and this is its fruit. Nevertheless, the people who dwell in the land are strong. The cities are fortified and very large. Moreover, we saw the descendants of Anak there. The Amalekites dwell in the land of the south, the Hittites, the Jebusites, and the Amorites dwell in the mountains, and the Canaanites dwell by the sea and along the banks of Jordan. Then Caleb quieted the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and take possession, for we are well able to overcome it. But the men who had gone up with him said, We are not able to go up against the people, for they are stronger than we. And they gave the children of Israel a bad report of the land which they had spied out, saying, The land through which we have gone as spies is a land that devours its inhabitants, and all the people whom we saw in it are men of great stature. There we saw the giants, the descendants of Anak, came from the giants, and we were like grasshoppers in our own sight, and so we were in their sight.